guys, welcome to your first day of school at Oakland Christian. My name is Joe, and I got to tell you, this class is going to be a blast. Yeah, you with me? All right, good, good, good. Yeah? Oh, I'm going to for sure. Hey, you want to take your seat, please? Uh, hey, welcome to Blunder High. I want you to right now turn in your books, please, to page 8. Start to read chapter 1 as I get my easel set up. Thank you. Kids, this is very technological, please. You will be awe-inspired once you see what I have for you. Wasn't that a great YouTube video? Hopefully, it illustrated the point that we've been talking about. If you'll please turn in your books to the index on page 357. You notice that it correlates with the cross-reference on page 17, the chart and diagram on page 12. What I especially like about this chart is that the researchers at Yale University figured out that the earlier study was, get this, this is exciting, it was inaccurate. Are you guys enjoying your interactive lesson? Yeah. Well, of course. Doesn't this virtual tour of ancient Egypt just teleport us back in time? This multicolored flip chart juxtaposes the two errors in a rather exciting fashion. What I especially want you to notice is the blue line that happens on page two. The blue line, as you'll notice here, rises and then seems to level off. Now, the numbers that go up here, this would be error two. Make sense? It makes total sense when you just think about it. I've used blue to reference Poland. And we need to up the budget for this class. I creatively used to represent the Irish. What's interesting to notice? Way up, sir? Yes. Write them down for a $5,000 increise. Per student. Oh, per student. That ought to fix things. You think? Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next class. Hey, class, remember to check out my Facebook fan page for a list of lessons. Plus, I'll be uploading some video links and some audio links to round out what's happening in class. Yes. Um, I was wondering, that article you posted on Twitter yesterday was great, but I was just wondering if any of the information will be on our test. Great question. The answer is no. The reason we go there is just to be exposed to other resources. By the way, how many of you actually read that article? Good. Great. This 35-page article will be on the test. I want you to pay special attention to the graphs that are on page 17, 16, and then page 5. And I don't think it will take you longer than an evening or two to memorize it. But the test is tomorrow. Well, then I would advise you start reading. The page on 16, the graph, I want you to notice. Class, I want to remind you to visit my website tonight. Also, hit that video blog. There's a great video with information that you need for tomorrow's tests. 
Yes, uh, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I'm going to miss class. Not a problem. I'll send it to your account, log in at home, take the test, and we'll take care of it that way. Hey, you guys have a great day. If anybody needs anything, we'll connect up on a video chat. All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs>